Well, you are the man of the hour. This movie's about you, am I correct? You, yeah, that is correct. So, Olympic hockey player, snowboarder, you got a thing for the extreme, don't you? I really do. You know, on the same side, I've been blessed with such athleticism. Uh, I was able to just be, you know, enjoy and be pretty decent at anything that I put my hands to. And, uh, you know, I my first love was hockey, but, you know, my second love, both of them kind of found me, was snowboarding. Okay. Now, I've got to ask you, just for the film's sake, what goes through your mind in a situation like that? Watching the film, I felt like I was played like an emotional instrument, especially when we were selling it to the studios. And then I said, wait a minute, everybody knows who you are in this theater. You better to stop squirming because they're going to think you don't like it. So right. it was uh, pretty uncomfortable, yet at the same time, pretty accurate. And uh, what a bunch of pros that were behind it from the producers to the director to the actors. Uh, you know, what I spent on those eight days on that mountain, these guys portrayed remarkably. So you're proud of Josh Hartnett's work towards you? Oh, big time. I mean, he was such a trooper. I was just sharing. I mean, he got thrown into icy cold water. He had to eat stuff that made him regurgitate. He had to lose, uh, you know, 15, 20 pounds was, was reduced down to 500 calories a day. He was uh, on the ice in brand new skates, which if you've ever skated, uh, it can be rather uncomfortable. And then he learned how to walk the talk as a snowboarder and look the part and rode some of the scenes as well. So what a trooper and, and what an honor to have him playing me. You just better not have complained, come complaining to you about how hard it was though. Oh, abso absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And then he shared with me that being from Minnesota, he, he, he uh, was never going to complain about the cold or they would never forgive him. They'd kick him out of the state. All right, one last question. So what was going through your mind when they approached you about this movie? At, at first, I, expe I actually expected it because, you know, I, I knew that uh, the story was so you know, valuable, and I knew that it had to be told. And, um, you know, like I shared, it, it, once that freight kind of left the station, it just happened so quickly. I mean, from the day, it just shocked me how they were able to do so much uh, in so little time of what it normally takes. And, I mean, from day one for principal photography to the day they delivered the film for sale to the studios was uh, six and a half months, which is normally takes a year and a half to two years. Well, I got to tell you, sir, you're an inspiration to us all. We appreciate it.